Now, in tune with the big national holiday here in Korea, and today being the final day of the three day long Chuseok holiday, millions of Koreans are back on the roads on their way home after visiting their families in their hometowns. And you know what that means? Heavy traffic on the nation's expressways. Our Kwon Soa is live at the Seoul a toll gate. So, uh, it's a little past 10 p.m. here. How are things looking for those on the road? Hi, Konyong. Well, things have improved, uh, but as you can see behind me, there is still congestion. Some people are still finding themselves in congested sections. And you can see the lines of cars entering the capital Seoul via the widely used Gyeongbu Expressway. Now, around five to six hours ago, the congestion was said to have reached the peak, but gradually speed is uh, picking up. However, slower than expected, as traffic authorities say, people who planned to return on Saturday may have changed their minds after a heavy rain was forecast for the weekend. Now, as of now, the roads are expected to ease up past midnight, probably around 3 a.m. Now, according to Korea's traffic agency, 4.6 million cars are estimated to have been out and about on the country's expressways this Friday alone. Now, I got the chance to talk to a few people on their return drive. Although it's annoying being stuck in the car when it's congested, the thought of meeting my parents and siblings makes the trip worth it. From Daejeon, we went northwards to Kapyong. It was very congested, and that's why I made use of real-time traffic information. Still, it took seven hours. I'm glad that I was lucky that our way back home is going smoothly. Now, if we take a look at the latest estimated travel time to Seoul, beginning down south, from Busan, you'll need roughly 4 hours 40 minutes, from Gwangju, 4 hours 10 minutes, and from Daejeon and Gangneung, it'll take around two and a half hours. And for those heading out of Seoul, you won't be facing much difficulties right now. Now, while the Chuseok exodus on the highways is the most concerning for those driving, uh, what's noticeable this year is that a lot of people have traveled abroad. Now, Incheon International Airport estimates that the total number of travelers throughout this span is expected to reach 1 million, which would be an around 20 percent increase from last year. Now, around 3.6 million are estimated to have taken or will be using railroads, uh, with the majority using KTX bullet trains. Well, so uh, what about the weekend? What can we expect as uh, some families will be enjoying another day or two together taking advantage of the weekend? Exactly, Kanyong, and that's actually why there is no extreme congestion on the last day of the holiday this year, uh, because people got to choose uh, between a lot of uh, different days when they could return home. Now, as for Saturday, the congestion is expected to begin between 8 and 9 a.m. and uh, will reach uh, the heaviest peak between 3 and 4 p.m. That's what authorities are saying. However, the rain factor could change the situation a little bit. Now, an official at the Korea Expressway Corporation said those who travel on Sunday will enjoy good-to-go roads in either north or southbound directions. Now, drive safe, everyone, and back to you, Konyang, in the studio. Well, safety comes first indeed. Our Kwon Soa live with the traffic conditions. Thank you, Soa. Well done.